Hey everybody, welcome to Kitty Tactics. This is a small indie game currently in development and I got this from itch.io. The demo was just released on the 28th of October and it already got one update with like, I saw there were like some fixes to a victory condition and uh, there were some tips added or something like that. I just quickly glanced over it. This is a game by... Now let's let's test my pronunciation here. This is a game by... Deep de No, I would like to say. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered your name, it also says it in the down left corner. Yeah, I just discovered this game through Twitter actually. Like I follow a lot of like indie outlets. I think Indie World Order retweeted uh, Deep de No's tweet there. I'm gonna throw the link to this game on itch and uh, the devs Twitter in the description. This is not only for you, but also a reminder for myself to actually do that. <laughs> I tend to forget stuff like that. Uh, let's get into it here. Yeah, I haven't played this at all, only seen a few pictures. So let's go for a good first impression here. We can design our own cat. There's off to a great start. What scarf do we want? Hmm. Red scarf is a little classic. Uh, let's... Let's go with a purple scarf here, like this. Oh yes, that looks good. Name? We can even roll a name. Princess, Boo, Nugget, Lucky, Rocky, Pickles. You know, here in Taiwan, I'm not Taiwanese. Like, I'm just uh, living here right now. But here in Taiwan, pets always have names that like repeat themselves. So it will be like Yu Yu or something, you know? So let's just let's just be you you for now. This is actually the name of our friend's dog, but who cares? I like the name. Map size medium, difficulty medium. Sounds good to me. Let's play. Welcome to Kitty Tactics. Use WASD for the uh, or the arrow keys to move. Space to take territory and numbers one to five to use your skills down below. Okay. You can change any of these controls in the options menu. Alright. So this is me, I suppose. So I can move? Ah, yes. But what can I do with those kitties? And how far can I move? I don't know what this indicates. Ah, this is, this is the territory. So it's like that, okay. So what keeps me from just creating a box here? Good job, expanding your territory. You probably noticed that long bar at the top. Oh, this one? Right there? I actually did not. Uh, that's the goal of the game. When you acquire enough territory to reach the flag, you win the game. Okay. Claim enough territory to reach the flag. Nothing easier than that. Oh. There's a lot going on here. Let me just read one by one here. <laughs> Good job expanding your territory. We read that one. Getting curious about the other cats on the board. You can get to know them a bit better by right clicking them with the cursor. Oh, okay, I see. I left clicked one before and it didn't show anything. The cat menu has everything you need to know about any cat. Hmm, I see. All right, drag the mouse with any button while hovering cursor over any cat. Okay. A fight broke out between cats. How exciting. To see why they hate each other so much, select the little looking glass symbol in the upper left corner. Select both cats and hover over the line connecting them both. I mean like, like, like this. Oh god, <laughs> there's a lot to see. A vagrant, vagrant. What is this? A scratch? That seems like a basic action. We could get in on the action and just try attacking one of them there. But they, do they have different stats? They seem to have the same stats for now. Oh, and those are, this is like a relationship tree? Okay. Is it? Ah, this is. Oh no, it's like a skill tree, I suppose, because it says required vagrant free. 
Okay. What do they mean by uh, select the looking glass symbol in the upper left corner, this one? And select both cats and hover over the line connecting them both. Ah, I hate you because you took my territory and you attacked me. Okay, I see. So I can deselect those. What about those? Like, can I... Well, take the looking glass here and I, I want to deselect this one. And I select those two. There's no line connecting them, so I guess they don't have a relationship. You select some cats with the looking glass tool who don't really know each other. A relationship line only shows up between cats when they have acquired enough grudges or favors to bring the total relationship score about, uh, above 50 or below minus 50. Okay. Wow, that seems complex. I just wish the board had a little bit like, I don't know, like grass and some trees, but maybe that's still coming, right? When hovering over the lines connecting a pair of cats, you can see the reasons why they like or hate each other. Lines have two zones. When hovering over one side, you see the opinion of that cat on the other and vice versa. Alright. Job menu overview. This is the job menu. It shows info on the different jobs a cat can learn. Great of jobs are locked. Colored in jobs are already unlocked. Hover over any job to see their requirements. Ah yes, this okay. We'll get through that. Okay, let's see. Let's just keep playing here. Take the territory. Oh, they beat the heck out of each other here. What if I take your territory, orange man? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm I'm just taking your territory. Oop. Ah, the orange cat is healing up again. Ah, so they seem to be able to heal themselves. What if I select this? Combat. Right next to an unsuspecting cat. It's time to test all these claws, no? <laughs> so we... <laughs> I say we smack this fool. Select your <laughs> scratch skill by pressing the icon down below. This is the left mouse button to confirm or right mouse button to cancel. Okay. Smack. Dude, let's... Let's maim him. There we go. Cat, done. You leveled up and you unlocked a new skill to boot. Oh god, I can hear the police. I live right next to the police station, by the way, so if you can hear that, my... My apologies. That's really loud. Let's wait until they pass here. Okay, there they go. You leveled up and you unlocked a new skill to boot. Let's equip that new skill right away. Open up your cat menu by right clicking your cat. Expand the job menu and skill menu and drag your new skill to one of your empty slots in your cat menu. Alright. Let's do this. Expand that skill menu. Uh... This is the level thing, right? Oh yes, we learned Lick. <laughs> That's nice. There's a lot of death to this game. I did not expect that at all. I just thought it would be a cute cat game. Equipped and ready for battle. Did you know you can equip multiple instances of the same skill? It's true. You only have five slots though, so choose wisely. Why would I equip multiple instances of the same one? This is the skill menu. Choose the different skills of the selected job. Press any other unlock job icon to open theirs. Hover over any symbol for more info or press the details button down below. Okay. We level up. That's true. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. Damage times 1.2. This What is this? Like a projector? Magic power. Okay. It has a mana cost. Okay. Cooldown. Here's the range. Seems the same as Scratch. So adjacent, I suppose. Okay, let's just focus on getting more of that sweet territory here. 
No, there's a lot of fights going on here. What if we just start like beating up every wounded cat we see? Like what if I just go like, oh, <laughs> they dashed away. Wait for me, snowball. Oop, rip. Rip cat. There she goes. When you're next to a friendly cat and all recurrents are met, you can select them with the heart tool in the upper left hand corner to make a child. Okay, wow. For summary of all the requirements, press the details button down below. Okay. A nice little tip menu. When next to another cat, the player cat can reproduce if all of the following requir uh, requirements are met. The target cat has a friendly relationship with the player cat. There are less than 8 cats on the map. Either cat had not reproduced in the last 10 rounds. The target cat is not a child of the player cat. Okay. The child of the cat couple inherits the job levels of their parents. Wow. That seems very deep. Uh, let's take a look at our relationships here. I like you because you killed my enemy. That's how you make friends, guys. Congratulations, we now have a son. Oh, what a cutie. Children inherit the job levels of their parents, but are fully autonomous as soon as they are born. After making a child, cats need to wait 10 rounds before going at it again. Okay. What does my child help me to do, though? Like, you are autonomous, but do you claim for me now? Like, we are allied with pink, right? Can I just remove that little relationship thing here? There we go. Let's see, let's just claim more territory here. That seems to be the primary reason for playing here. Look at them dashing about. Orange is fleeing like a loser. Oh! You coming at me, you fool? Gone. I, I can do this. There you go, rip. <laughs> I like it. Look at that, one of your friends is coming to help you. A green exclamation mark symbol means they are on their way to help another cat. Press the details button down below for more info. Wow. Wow, man, this, this game has some menus, dude. Really impressive. Like, this is version 1.7 or something, and it already seems to be really deep. Reaction when seeing an enemy, depending on the circumstances, will fight or run away. Okay. So that's very interesting. Wow, you really showed them. Remind me not to mess with you. Every skill has its own effects. To see them, open up the skill menu. Press the details button down below for more info. Okay, attack multiplier. And this is like magic attack multiplier, I guess. Physical healing and magical healing. Okay, so the lick is a healing thing. Okay. Cooldown mana cost, I guess as much. Status effect and the chance to inflict. Here's the range. Okay, it seems pretty clear. Dealing with haters. Ouch, that looked like it hurt. Well, you know what they say. Talk shit, get hit. <laughs> True, isn't it? To see why a particular cat hates you. So like the tool, yeah, I guess if we just like took their territory, right? I was kind of opportunistic there. Okay, we already know that. Changing jobs. You've grown stronger yet again. And open up some new job options. You can change your jobs by opening the job menu and dragging an unlocked job to one of your two job slots. This decide your available skills among others. Okay. Having friends has many advantages and it's nice to be popular. Being inside a friend's territory also grants you their bonus, as indicated by the home symbol. Okay. So we are friends with green and pink. I wish you would have like a sidebar that showed you like your relationships with the differently colored cats. So, like you have the pink cat, then it says minus 50 or something like that. That would be very helpful. Oh, and you healed me? Dude, you are a nice little kitty. Oh, you just changed your job. Oh, I should also do this. Thanks for the reminder. 
So now we are vagrants and here we have like a little wizard thing and a little berserker thing I suppose. See this, in, they say into one of the two job slots. Where are our job slots? Is it here somewhere? Nope. Or here? Yes, Ravager. Okay. Savage Strike and Shield Breaker. Let me just move that upwards here. And the Vagrant one, I can move that here. Yes, so we, now we are a Ravager and a Vagrant. So I can put a Savage Strike here. It's the cooldown. And then I can put a Scratch here. Right, yes, and the Lick. And my Dash. There we go. That seems nice. Who's fighting there? We can just dash to get a little bit... Get ahead a little bit quicker here. Hello. <laughs> Aren't we friendly here? Ah, yes. Okay. And we are also friendlies, right? Yeah. And we are friendly? Yeah. Hello. Okay, let's just get rid of those lines here. Let's give him a savage strike. You're running away. You better run, you fool. Oh, I didn't actually want to do this. Yes, you healed. It's my chance to strike. And now we just hit him with a claw attack. Follow up here. Another savage strike, rip. Fast forwarding, getting tired of waiting on your turn. Can fast forward the game by pressing the, the play button in the upper left corner, or this one, okay. Oof, you've been hit with, this, with a status effect. Some skills have a chance of inflicting a status effect and all territories come with a similar effect or immunity. Okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of status effects. Inf this is bleed, I suppose. Inflicts damage to 5% of target's max health for 5 rounds. 20% of caster's magic power for 5 rounds. Increases max mana. Increases attack. Decreases attack. Increases defense, decreases defense. And then there's a more severe defense decrease. Okay. Regenerate mana. Increase defense equal to 40% of caster's magic power. Demobilize target. Wow. Seems you pissed off some other cat. That's what happens if you go around stealing territory or smacking fools. Okay, yep, we, I think we know that much. I see you're getting used to the looking glass symbol. You can also toggle all relationships by pressing... What is that? E? Hmm? Maybe? Don't forget. If no line shows up between cats, it means they have no strong relationship yet. Okay. Is it T? It is. Nice. Very good. I like it a lot. So we don't have any relationship, right? So I'm just gonna claim some territory here, if you excuse me. Okay, there's some enemy spotted. Can I heal myself here? Oh, I can. That's nice. Just heal myself a little bit. Okay, uh, heal myself yet again. We can claim some territory of theirs here. Hello, son. You healed me. I like it very much. Excuse me while I'm just taking all your territory here. Oh, there we go. You son of a bitch. Time to die. It still says they tolerate me, but for how much longer? Get ready to get ganked. My son is getting right in there. He'd love to see it. Let me also use a little dash here. There he goes. Another rip. Okay, we are all friends here. Cat immigration. Yes, getting fewer and fewer of us. 
the number of cats on the map fall below 6, cats from other neighborhoods will immigrate to this one. New cats will always spawn on the map edges. Alright, good to know. Can I move up to you? Can we do a little bit of friendly mating? There we go. Now let me just get a little bit of that, that good juice here. I think this is that guy's territory, right? Yep. Seems like it. Let me just... <laughs> Let me just take your territory, you fool. A little bit like... The, the edge is a little bit weird here. Because I cannot really like see down there. And I cannot seem to scroll down there. Can I drag? Oh, I can drag the map. Okay. You kind of hate me now because I just keep stealing your territory, but I don't mind. We have a lot of children and friends now. Excuse me, friendo. Okay, there's some war going on here. Now they're killing my child. <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch. You better run. Well, you still can. Let me just toggle the relationship thing. I don't think it's so important right now. This guy has like no HP left. I can also dash. Oh, you can dash again, huh? He did it. That's my son. Okay, let's get some territory here. Whose territory is this? What if I take this? Think I pissed you off? Whatever, man. We do what we need to do to win. Let's see. Aside from selecting cats with the looking glass tool, or selecting all cats by pressing T, you can also hover the mouse over a cat. Hovering over a cat will show you the color-coded name to indicate if they are neutral friend or foe. Makes sense. Okay, let me just take a lot of stuff here. Oh, There's a lot of warring going on down there. Just cats beating the heck out of each other, if you allow me. <laughs> there we go. Less cats means more territory for me. You are allied with me, but you two are hostile to each other. That's a very interesting situation. Yellow cat is taking my territory. Unacceptable. And you wanna smack, son? Because that's how you get smacked. Do it again here. Uh, sorry, you moved away one space. I did not realize. Oh, you have a little like fireball attack. Okay. Now, oh, wow, we're we getting a little bit close to death here. If you excuse me, I will just <laughs> just move away. We're burning, by the way. But oh, that's not good. Are we dying here? We were doing so well. Please. Heal me up. Cat friend, please. Can I skip my turn here? I just like poop. Oh, they're fighting amongst each other, huh? Okay, let me just use the opportunity to heal here. Then I guess I'm gonna smack you. There we go. In this guy is hostile towards that guy and this guy is hostile with me. I think Yellow Cat needs to go though. They're too powerful. Do we actually have more job things we can equip? We have Shield Breaker. What about this one? Oh, here's the fireball one. That's really interesting, actually. What if we take that instead of the Ravager for now? Because I like the healing ability. 
So then we can equip the Firebolt here. This enables us to do some range damage. Let me heal myself here. Oh, you're getting a little bit close to me here, son. I don't like that. Oh, you can attack you can attack vertically. And by vertically I mean diagonally, I don't like that. Let's do a little heal here. Somebody's fighting. Let me just <laughs> get some territory here. Yeah. Okay, they're taking care of the yellow cat here apparently. It doesn't see seem like there's healing over time, so you really need to heal yourself. Come on, we can do this. And the yellow cat is a savage, man. Let me just take a lot of territory here. Is anybody chasing them? Oh yes, they took care of it, I think. Yes. Nice. What's going on here? Is there one down there? Oh no, there was one down there, okay. Okay, there's some unclaimed ter territory right there. Love struck cats. Oh, it seems the cat has found love. If two mutually friendly cats meet all the requirements for mating, they will reproduce offspring. Okay, isn't love great? Yeah, isn't it? Are you not, like, allied with me or something? Let me just toggle here. Oh, we have actually foes, huh? Also, let me just heal. And if I take your territory here, you will probably be really angry. Oh, yes, thank you. Let me just <laughs> take all the territory. Oh, wow, he shot me twice there. You savage. Help! <laughs> I've put more off more than I can chew. Okay, heal yourself. Before they kill you. We're kind of being backed into a corner here, I don't like it. Oh, now I can move up one maybe. Bloop. Dude, this game is way more complicated than I thought it would be. Fighting cats is horrifying. There you go, heal yourself up a little. Maybe go to your allies here. I need some healing, man. Oh, somebody dashed here. Okay, we are allied with all of those. This is our enemy. Fire! Oh, I cannot fire that far, huh? Okay. This is blue, so if we do that... Dude, like, it's so hard to take all those territories. Screw you, blue. You can run, but you cannot hide. Oh, neither can I, though. No, this guy's getting a level up here, huh? Can I strike you diagonally here? I cannot. I can fire this diagonally though. Please help me, my cat brothers and sisters. Let's heal up a little here. Get hit with 9 immediately. Die! Nice. We unlocked a new skill here. What is it? Um... Meditate. A buff granting increased mana regeneration for a few turns. I mean, why not? We're not using that much mana now, but maybe we will be in the future, you know? Let me just take that territory from you straight away. Oh yes, healing is a good idea. Okay, um... Let's take that. And this one. So those are our friends. 
Wait, how many friends do we have? We don't do actually not have many friends anymore. They are friends here. What is your relationship with that guy? Maybe we should kill that guy, Widget. I hate you because you attacked me. That seems fair. Okay, let's see if we can get... Maybe I should switch my jobs up a little bit. I feel like the Ravager was a little bit more powerful. Let's use that mana regeneration thing here. Let's heal ourselves here and then let's click. And we go with the Ravager thing instead of the Sage. Did I get anything new from the Vagrant, by the way? Let me just move that window up a little bit. Maim. An attack that restricts movement for a few turns. That seems powerful. Requirement level 6. Okay. Oh yes, I also of course need to get my class skills back into the bar here. Let me just expand that. And here's the Ravager thing, the Savage Strike, nice. And the Shield Breaker, an attack that lowers defense. Seems advisable. Ouch, that hurt. That hurt a lot. And death has come. Wow. That, that was pretty intense for being a cat, man. Like, is this what keep being a cat is like and fighting over territory? That's intense. Okay, guys, here it's, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this little first impression. I like it. The only thing I have to criticize, maybe it has to be like this for sake of overview, but I would like the environment to have like something else to look at. Like, not even really complicated. Like, put some like little pixely rocks and maybe like a few bushes and put like trees on the outside or something and then this game is deep as hell man like <laughs> holy damn okay guys thank you very much for watching like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out the devs twitter and download this game on on itch on itch.io on itch.io however you say that but for now see you next time and bye bye